A new report shows there are gaps between people who apply for victim compensation. According to the national study, black people are almost three times as likely to be denied these services. But that's not the case here in Hawaii. KITV 4's Anita Kabir has the story. More than 2,000 people who were affected by a violent crime. This includes those who lost a loved one or were direct victims themselves. Applied for services at the Hawaii Victim Services Program. Around 360 of them were denied help. A new study shows nationwide there are large disparities between applicants that are approved and those who are denied. But that's not the case here in Hawaii. The assaults have happened so many, so many times, abuse of a family household member, which is a, a crime that's uh, included in CPCC, right, that's eligible crime. They would say, no, I've, it's happened to me all the time, but uh, because the first time I reported it, um, nothing happened, so I have lost confidence in the system. The services program provides funding for medical and funeral care counseling and other services for victims of violence. The funding comes from fines paid by criminals. In Hawaii, 18% of Hispanics who applied for services had their applications denied. 24% of the applications from whites were denied, as were 19% of applications from black people. DVAC's Christina Arias says there are many barriers that make it harder for victims here to receive those services. For instance, many people don't know they have the right to an interpreter. And if there is no some sort of resistance um, or even language being a barrier, then chances are they may submit it initially, they may fill it out, but halfway done and may result to denial. She says the biggest issue in Hawaii is many victims are not reporting these violent crimes and are therefore not included in these statistics. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.